Hello and Namaste. Today I'm going to talk about how to use SSH key, your private key to connect with your Raspberry Pi. So the main uses of SSH key is to use it, use Raspberry Pi remotely so that you don't have to enter a password every single time when you want to log in your Raspberry Pi using your working PC. So it's just like you using the Google Chrome or any other password saving activities just to save your password so that you don't have to keep using your login password every single time when you want to log in. That's that's how it does work in the in Raspberry Pi. So if you have your personal PC, which one you use frequently just to log into your Raspberry Pi and work on it. So you can just use SSH key and so that you don't have to enter your password every single time. So I'm going to show you. I assume that you already have Raspberry Pi with you and using Raspbian. Also, I assume that you have SSH key enable on your Raspberry Pi. So which one you can just go to the Raspberry Pi and you can enter, click on the icon on the far left corner, then go to the configuration and just yes, enable the SSH key. And also I assume you already have the PuTTY gen and the PuTTY which you need to download in your PC, which helps you to remotely access your Raspberry Pi. So you don't have to connect your Raspberry Pi to the screen and have your keyboard every single time when you want to use Raspberry Pi. I'm going to I'm going to give the description on on below my uh, video about the Raspberry uh, about the party download and everything else what are required. Here I already have my um, party on my PC. You can see up here on, on this one is party which you need to access your Raspberry Pi remotely. And also when you download party it just come with party gen so here you can see party gen i can show you up here too so party yeah party gen you you need this one too and just to create ssh key so you have to generate your ssh key and then you have to do all those things so i'm going to show you step by step process make sure your raspberry pi is on now i'm going to show you first i'm going to show you log into my raspberry pi so my host is 192.168.1.194 is my IP for my Raspberry Pi and which is Pi load. So let's open it. So here, as you see, it's going to ask me a password every single time when I log in. Uh, I'm going to enter my password and let's log in. Yeah, once you enter your password, it's going to log in to your Raspberry Pi. But using SSH key, you don't have to enter uh, password every single time when you are using when you are using it remotely using your own PC but it's it's kind of handy but also from the security point of view it's uh, risky if you are using um, public computer or public PC so it's better not to do with the public PC just make sure you have your personal laptop or personal uh, PC that you've been working and accessing your Raspberry Pi remotely Therefore, the first time, the first thing we have to do is let's get exit from the party. Mm -hmm. Exit. It's a little bit not responding right now. Let's, let's see. Mm, response. Okay. It's kind of slower. Okay. The first thing you have to do is open your party gen. Mm, open your party gen. Then here we have to generate a key. So here it doesn't matter are you uh, either you are in SSS one RSA or or uh, DSA or RSA but you have to make sure it's twenty forty eight that's all you have to make sure it doesn't matter which one you to select it then the next thing we have to do is generate just hit on the generate and it wants you to remove your cursor up there in the space so that you can generate your random key and here we need to save just for the extra 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 security. If you want to keep password for your phrases too, then you can just put your password and confirm your password. But here, as we are doing, we are not, uh, we don't want to enter password when we want to re remotely access our Raspberry Pi, so that we are not doing this one in for, for this video. But if you want extra security on the second layer of security, then you can just put uh, password on your phrases so that nobody can access your phrases too. But for this video, I'm not using password for the phrases but we have to save the private key save the private key say yes and I want to save the private key on my desktop so let me create a new new folder it says keys 
let's enter inside the folder and save the private private keys by default it's gonna be dot ppk if not then you have to make the make sure the extension is dot ppk say as a private key so save I already have private key in here it should look like this dot ppk extension and then the next thing we have to do is just copy everything from here make sure you copy everything it's from top to bottom control C so copy that one and open your notepad that's gonna be the really easier one and paste so that you have to you so that everything comes on the same line on notepad and that's why we're using notepad here and save this one too on the same folder that you use to save on private key so that one is desktop keys I'm gonna save it here so this one will be dot txt so it's gonna be public key there you go uh, let's check uh, we have both of them yeah we have both of them and let's double check it is uh, it's gonna be on the same single line um, now just let it be on the side let's open the party now party here enter your IP address 192.168.1.194 is my IP on oh, you can give your name up here but I already have name as a pie so just let me load it it's gonna look like this once you save your name and load and at the same time you, you have to make sure as a go to SSH go to authorize and here I have the previous one so let me delete this one so for the first time it's gonna look like this well, let me show you again let me go back and show you again open party open party use, use your IP address here and select is a give name and load so I have already I have the name pi so I'm gonna load it so it's just it's just up to here you can just put your IP address up here you don't have to give name if you don't want to but I already have a pi name so I just give the name and this is very important that you have to do it SSH go to authorize go to authorize and you will be in this stage here so here is gonna be really empty this one will be yeah this one will look like this and make sure all the stick mark not all of them just whatever is on the screen and browse so we have to give the private key that we just save and so here we save on desktop keys private key just open it's a little browse and it's in here but you have to save it for further uses too go back to session once you selected the same one go back to session and save so once you save it it's gonna be in there forever unless you delete so it's gonna be here but if you forget to save it's gonna go it's gonna clear by itself and then you can you won't be able to access your Raspberry Pi remotely without using your password so now we are all set now let's open for the first time it's gonna ask you the password yeah it's gonna ask you the password for the first time so enter your password for the first time then you have to do is you have to give uh, you have to create a, a directory mkdir so create a directory dot ssh that's a, that's gonna be the directory so create mkdir dot ssh so enter to the enter you to your directory cd dot ssh i mean i already entered in the ssh directory now you can just keep sudo nano authorized key keys all you can also do vim but this one looks really easy and it's really simple for me that's why i'm using sudo nano that's why that's what the command i use all every time so you have to save your public key in here uh, either way it's gonna work if you want to go to your key open the public key and copy all of them and paste or you can just copy from here copy all of these and save it's the same thing it's the same public key so here just to right click and it's gonna save all of your public key control X then it's gonna ask you either you want to make changes 
so give yes and then hit enter now you are all set so let's do exit but before that let's check either we have it or not so yeah we want you to do ls it's going to show you whatever inside your directory so i have authorized key so i already have those saved so let's exit from here i exit now let's do it again second time when you once you save your private private key and all everything is saved now second time student ask your password again to log in so as i already have it saved so i can just do load or if you don't then you can just put your ip address on the top and just load it but make sure your ssh and authorize key is in there yeah i have it in here now i can go back to session mm, yeah everything is things should be like this one so ssh don't forget this one and let's open as you can see it doesn't ask me for my password i can just logged in you say auth authentication with public key rsa key so you just verify your machine key your power your pc key whichever is saved in your browser in your pc and the key which is saved in the raspberry pi so it's going to match at the same po same point and it's going to let you access your raspberry pi it's really simple just simple steps that i've been using so please follow this one if you really want to use your ssh key and remotely access your raspberry pi without using your password and thank you so much. Keep watching videos. I'll put some more stuff of the Raspberry Pi as well as home automation, smart home devices. I'm going to put some more video about it. Stay tuned. Thank you so much.